Kennedy was trying to keep us out of war. I was trying to help him keep us out of war. And General Curtis LeMay, whom I served under, as a matter of fact, in World War II, was saying, let's go in, let's totally destroy Cuba. On that critical Saturday, October 27, we had two Khrushchev messages in front of us. One had come in Friday night, and it, was, it had been dictated by a man who was either drunk or under tremendous stress. Basically, he said, if you'll guarantee you won't invade Cuba, we'll take the missiles out. Then, before we could respond, we had a second message that had been dictated by a bunch of hardliners. And it said, in effect, if you attack, we're prepared to confront you with masses of military power. So what to do? We had this, I'll call it the soft message and the hard message. At the elbow of President Kennedy was Tommy Thompson, former US ambassador to Moscow. He and Jane, his wife, had literally lived with Khrushchev and his wife upon occasion. Tommy Thompson said, Mr. President, I urge you to respond to the soft message. The president said to Tommy, we can't do that. It'll get us nowhere. Tommy said, Mr. President, you're wrong. Now, that takes a lot of guts. In Thompson's mind was uh, this thought, Khrushchev's gotten himself in a hell of a fix. He would then think to himself, my God, if I can get out of this with a deal that, that I can say to the Russian people, Kennedy was going to destroy Castro, and I prevented it. Thompson, knowing Khrushchev as he did, thought Khrushchev will accept that. And Thompson was right. That's what I call empathy. We must try to put ourselves inside their skin and look at us through their eyes just to understand the thoughts that lie behind their decisions and their actions. 